Hey, what's going on you guys? So today we're actually going to do an engine bay paint. Uh, this is going to be far from professional. Let me just add that in there. Far from professional. So it's going to be far from professional. Um, it's going to be rattle can. We're going to use Rust-Oleum. going to be surprised. You guys are going to love this color. I know I'm going to love this color. I've been thinking about this forever. I want to go with something that's actually going to pop out. Something that's going to match the car any color I paint it. If down the line I decide to change the paint color. I'm going to try to prep as much as I can. I'm going to primer it and then I'm going to paint it. Hopefully it comes out good. I mean we already have the head off. Go ahead and show you guys this. So the head is off. I was like, you know what, since this is off, I might as well paint the engine bay. A lot of you guys are telling me, or kept telling me, hey, you can paint your engine bay, it looks like crap. So, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to paint the engine bay. Hope you guys enjoy this. Like I said, it's not going to be the best paint job. It's going to be a thousand times better than what it looks right now, trust me. Uh, two more days and I get a haircut. Ooh, I'm looking rough, but it's all right. I'm trying to get my car ready for my, my girl get back out here, so I don't want to work on my car while she's out here. So I'm trying to get as much videos as I can while before she comes out here. So let's go ahead out and get this paint and get this started because it's pretty early. It's 8, 10 in the morning. So I'm trying to get this done early so we can be done hopefully by noon. I said that yesterday. I didn't finish at like 5. So let's get to it. Everybody keep asking me about the Camaro, y'all. It's right here. Still got it. Still got the Camaro. Still got the Camaro. Kyson, is it too early? Is it too early, Kyson? Kyson, is it too early? You don't care? No? Alright, we're there. There we are, boys. Just got the loads. Let's get this paint. What you talking about back there? We got AutoZone, boys. Because uh, Lowe's didn't have the paint color that I needed. So, Still in that bottle, sir? Bruh. You almost died? Dang, you babysitting that thing, bruh. Take it to the head, Kyson. To the head, bro. Okay, guys, just got back from the uh, AutoZone and Lowe's. So this is what I got. I got black gloss paint by Rust-Oleum. That's gonna be my base. I got some primer. Cause I had to get my mask. Gotta be protected. I'm trying to die. That's you in the uh, shot. I should want some more of this. Hey, I still got the tash brown. Hey, Sid. Hi. You don't care? All right. I got some cam seals. You guys should know what those look like. I got some cam seals though. This is my cams already off. I got some tape. I got some jasmine air freshener. I haven't had this before. That has nothing to do with this paint though. But here we go. This is what's going to give me that sh uh, shimmer. Really, really nice. I don't know if you guys see your seal on the can. It's going to be so, so dope though. This is going to be so dope, y'all. This color right here, oh, this clear. Oh my gosh, multicolor. This is the truth. It's the glitter. Woo! And it was about 13 bucks. I don't know how much it's gonna need, so I got four cans. I probably did, uh, I probably OD'd, but I got four cans of it. So I wanted to make sure I have enough. So yeah, hopefully that happens today. Bright sunny day is like the perfect day to paint. It's nice and warm. There's no clouds in the sky. It's not windy. It's like perfect. Have the fun over there, Kyson. Yeah, okay, guys, here's the car. Right before I paint it, so you guys the engine bay. It's all prepped. Engines are out. I covered as much as I could. Um, only thing I have off is the head, of course. Try to cover everything else. I'm not really worried about going over some of the lines. That like those is back there. I'm not really too worried about it. This stuff, not to worry about it. I mean, it's already ugly anyway, so it can only look better from here. So anything is going to be better than what this is right now. Because this is, oh my gosh, this is horrible. I'm actually going to paint under the hood as well. Because I, I don't want to paint the engine bay and then I pop the hood and it's white. It's not looking too promising though. It's not looking too promising. It's looking like it's about to rain. I'm not really trusting that sky right now. So I don't want to start and it rains. So I'm going to give it about an hour and see if it clears up. If it clears up, come back out here. If it doesn't, put the cover on. Come back tomorrow. But at least it's already prepped. It's coming along nice though, you guys. It's going to be a big transformation. Get the head fixed, hopefully. I fixed that. I'm not going to know until I put the head on. Back on the block. 
but I wanted to make sure at least I did this. Well, I had the opportunity to do it. I had to get this done because you guys always tell me, paint your engine bay, paint your engine bay, bro. Paint it. So I'm painting it. So yeah, I know you're gonna tell me to get Wiretech and K series. I know, I know, I know. I know how it goes, you guys. Very funny. So hopefully I get to paint this. If not, at least it's prepped for tomorrow. It hasn't started raining yet. I don't know if it's gonna rain. I'm gonna just thug it out and just start painting. Hopefully it doesn't rain, so. That wish me luck. I hope it don't rain. But if it rains, I'm screwed. So I don't wanna wait any longer. And it ends up not raining and I run out of daylight. So Go ahead and get this going. Got my mask. Right, here we go. So, my second can. So I got so far. I got the uh, this is done pretty much. Got a few slots I need to touch up. So I got so far. Making progress. Gotta shake this can for a minute. Then we'll go back and spray and finish up the primer. Hopefully I have enough. If not, I'm gonna have to make a stop to the store and get some more. And I can tell this by looking at this. The people that sprayed this before did not use primer at all. This is what happens when you don't use primer. It doesn't stick. It just runs. So use primer. There we go, let's finish this up. Get the stuff I didn't get. Here we go. Got the primer on. Like I said, it's not the best job, but it's better than what it looked like already. <laughs> I was trying to make it look better than what it was. I see some spots I had to hit up. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But yeah, it's coming out pretty good, you guys. Told you. Right, that's done. That's two cans right there, you guys. Two cans gone. Go ahead and let that sit for like about 20 minutes. They come back and hit it with the black. I see some spots I missed, like over here. But all those spots that I missed is stuff like you're really not going to see. Like, uh, stuff in there. I don't know if you can see it, but. Oh. Uh, feel good about myself. I actually painted this engine bay. I think I was complaining so many times. I'm painting it, okay? I'm painting it. It's not gonna be the best paint, but it's gonna be something. Hey guys, so here's the car. I didn't put the flake in it yet, but here you go.
Nice gloss black and all these freaking bugs want to fly around my paint. Pissing me off. But, yeah, for the most part, really good. I can't complain. Looks way better than before, even like this. So right now, I'm about to go ahead and throw the flake in there. Let's go ahead with the glitter. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is nice, boy. The next day. All right, guys. Next day, let it dry. I just want to show you guys this. There it is, you guys. It's the paint. The light. So there's no clear coat on it. So I gotta put a clear coat, which I'm gonna do right now. And um, yeah, it's good. It's coming out pretty good. Coming out pretty good. I thought it would be more black, but I guess because I use a black base color, maybe it's because of the uh, sparkles I use with the glitter. I know it's looking like gray, but I mean, I still like it. It's fine. I mean, with the clear coat, and then we're going to be done with this. And I still got to do the hood. It's looking good. Not really in the sun, so it's like a little harder to see, but you guys can see this. see that. Better go ahead and spray it up. This clear coat will be done. I'm gonna put my mask on. Safety first. So I was almost done, then this area started bubbling up and I touched it and it just all came up. So I did it with some white primer, kind of laid it a little heavy. That's so the other uh, pen and stick. I'm not really worried about this spot because it's where the ABS goes. So I'm going to just wait till it dries a little bit, hit it with the black, hit it with the sparkles, then hit it with the uh, clear and be done. But for the most part, the rest of it came out nice though. Looking real nice. So I just got to do the hood. And like oh, in these areas over here, I like kind of rushed it because it's not going to be able to see. The main thing you're going to see is this top bar up here, this, this radio support right here, and this part, and then the back. So it's looking good though. The gloss finish is the truth. Y'all can't talk mess about my engine bay now. It looks way better, even with that, when I messed up right there. But you're not going to, like I said, you're not going to see it. Even with that, it still looks way better than before. So yeah. Okay, here it is with the gloss. One clear coat layer. 
Oh, nice. That's the spot this hit. Unfortunately, it messed up. But it's going to be where ABS is, so it's not that big of a deal for me. Like I said, this looks better than what it did before. Now to do the hood. That is all I gotta do left. And here's the hood. I'm not gonna show me painting this because you always you guys already see me paint the hood, so there's no point of I mean paint the engine base, so there's no point of me showing you paint the hood. So just showing you before. I got it all taped off, it's all masked off in the back. Three hours later. It's in here. Nice and painted. So right now I'm gonna put this copper spray in this gasket, put it on. I put one layer of it, so I'm just put another one so I went to the bathroom and make sure this is not dry when I put it on. Get some protection on this. So I'm mess up most brand new paint. So one of those drives you wish you had a friend. A few moments later. Alright guys, so the engine's in. Well, the head is on. So I'm going to skip all the part of me installing everything. I'm going to show you guys the end process because it's going to take a while. Yeah, I don't feel like... I don't feel like uh, wasting time recording where I can actually be putting stuff on. So, the next clip you guys see will be engine incomplete. Several days later. Comes on, guys. It's like the day after Christmas. What well, is it the day after Christmas? It's Tuesday. So... I actually put this together that next day, so it was done like uh, a few days ago. But I forgot to do the outro and show you guys. I was kind of in a rush. I was out doing this all night, but here's the engine bay. Everything's all in there. Um, the timing belt isn't on there all the way. Can't see, but the timing belt's not on there all the way. I didn't mess with the timing. I'm gonna have my tuner come and do the timing for me because I'm not about to mess up the head. I wanna make sure everything's in time. We know I put it back in time, but I was like, you know what? I don't want the same thing to happen to this head as it did to my B20. That's how I got the VTEC head, if you guys don't know. Cause I messed up my B20 head. I went VTEC. But anyway, just wanted to show you guys this. Way, way better engine bay. Looks good. Let's see, you can't really tell where I messed up over here. I actually sprayed sprayed it back um, black with glitter also but you can't see because the ABS is in the way so I know you guys are going to tell me to delete that I'll delete that eventually um, but yeah it looks I think it came out great it looks way way better I wanted to give you guys this video before Christmas but I didn't get to uh, my girl came so you know I took care of that she first before my YouTube hood is good I mean, it looks mint it looks real real good It's like days after so it's already cured uh, I gotta peel this off because I don't want to make sure I kept my uh, DC2 little tab right there so looks good though looks real good so. I know it's probably a lengthy video so I hope you guys enjoyed this it was kind of long but you know whatever hope you guys enjoyed this video man make sure you like share subscribe Got more coming for the Integra as soon as I uh, get timed. We'll see if it actually leaks. Hopefully it doesn't leak. So hopefully I fix that. Uh, some people said I should have got a gasket for it, but with it being the holiday, if I would have got a gasket, it would have took longer. So it was my so it was like one of those things like I might as well try to put it on, seal it up like I did with the Honda Bond, put the gasket back on because the gasket was fine. Put the uh, copper spray on it and it works for the best. I put new cam seals, so hopefully that doesn't leak in the future. So I just did prevent things so I had the head off already. It only made sense. So hopefully it doesn't leak and if it leaks I have to get a head gasket anyway. And I gotta take off the head anyway. And some some people said uh you know uh DC4 Rob he told me I should get it machined. I should have got it machined, but whatever. I don't have time for that right now. I'm just gonna see if it works. My turner didn't say I need to do that, so it was just a plug, so none of that other stuff is really necessary. Yeah, it looks good though, look at that. Look at the flake. Put this 
all my stuff, you guys. Took it apart and put it together. My homie did help me put the hood on, though. I'm not going to be in front of that. But as far as all the work done here, I took it apart and put it together myself. So that's probably it. Yo, it's good. I need to get these in blue. These are like loose too. They're like drunk. I need to get some new ones. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next upload. Happy New Year. Uh, if I don't upload by then, uh, Merry Christmas because I missed that. So And Happy ho happy Holidays for y'all who don't celebrate Christmas. Happy Holidays. Hope you guys enjoyed the time with your friends and family. Now everybody gets to. Presents aren't really that important. I just happened to my girl came to Hawaii. From Virginia, you know what I'm saying? So that was good. Haven't seen her in a few months, so that was more important to me than gifts. I didn't care about gifts. But yeah, cars are good. This is my present too, right here. Getting this car up. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next upload.